What's up YouTube friends and welcome to Love DJ YouTube channel where we love everything about digital art and graphic design. So great news is coming, there are new options in Adobe Firefly and in this video we will try them together but even greater news is here. There is a new Adobe Photoshop beta version that includes some of these features there and we will a little bit explore this in the second part of this video. So let's drive right into it. First, there is a new generate, generate the fill option here. Uh, if you have Adobe Firefly, so there are few things we can do with it. And these examples are pretty much explanatory. Well, as you can see, it looked like this. And he generated these kind of beautiful effects with it. The same thing here, just you can change the head, background, all kinds of things and it fills the type of the art you are using and the same here you can change the background even with the deep depth of field effect as you can see that the background is blurry and here uh, well you can just cut the cosmonaut and put him into some forest and we can try it by ourselves so let's click on it and let's try first the simpler thing what if we want to remove the lighthouse here well very easy and also this will be in the new adobe photoshop beta i will show you later so let's choose this tool and let's just draw this and we will click on remove and wait a little bit and this is where magic happens i mean this is amazing this saves so much time for you to cutting things out the things I don't like particularly or is cutting things out or cutting parts of background but it will really help your workflow but of course we can click on cancel and clear and we have our image restored so let's do something else let's say you would like to generate something else maybe we would like to remove the lighthouse and some uh, put something else instead of lighthouse to do that it's quite easy it's just you have to select insert here add and now you will describe by words what you would like to see so for example statue of liberty um, and see what the result will be oh yeah very good and <laughs> pretty cool and you have of course the version of it but the first one I think I like the most but you can do many things with it and you can also upload image here so what if you would like to upload some image and for example here and we would like to remove again this woman and her reflection so this will be more difficult it's not just hair but also her reflection will be able to do it let's try it so let's just draw a little bit and Let's remove it and click on remove and see the result. And yeah, I mean magic. It's so easy and so beautiful. And in the Photoshop, in the old ways, it would be much more difficult. Now we can also add another thing there. So let's say we want to have both here. Uh, so let's write wooden boat and see the insertion you can insert things also as we did in the last image oh yeah but perhaps different version um, it's something it looks like there is something I think this one is best you have to try maybe a couple of times if you don't like it you can click here on more and it will regenerate new images. I think it's amazing, but what's amazing even more that this feature is now in Adobe Photoshop, beta version, of course. All you have to do is to install it. So how to do it, how to install it? Very easy. Just open your cloud, creative cloud, click on apps, and here are the beta apps 
and you have to just install it. I have already installed it. You can see it here. And you will click on install. And when it's done, you can open it. And we can do it right now. And now we can do the same things we have done in Adobe Firefly website. So if you would like to remove the subject, we have to choose remove tool. And it's pretty easy, you know, you just draw over the subject like we did last time. And that's it. Magic. And it's done. This, this is how easy it is. It's so cool. And if you would like to add another thing there, let's say boat again. Let's do it. Let's dry, draw area where the boat could be. And then you can see generative fill immediately jumped out. It always reacts on selection and things like that. So I can choose generate a fill. Okay, it tells me I agree. Okay, and now let's uh, wooden boat and click generate. And it processes for a while. Oh, yeah, it's cool. And there you see the variants again variations like this one this one so this is how easy you can do it and you can say generate again you know i don't like it so let's try generating it again but the result is pretty cool i think it's amazing i mean this one looks very good and uh, this one is a little bit more weird so oh we have six versions now this one is very good i think I would probably choose this one and it also changes a little bit the water you know so this is how you can do it now in Adobe Photoshop beta and now we can try play with this photo and change it a little bit and try our new AI functions so we would like to for example remove this part of the mountain or hill and the background should be redrawn at this area and continue from this here uh, in the normal way, normal way in photoshop it would be very hard work of uh, photo manipulation but let's try what new ai can do so let's just select this area with lasso tool very quick selection and let's now write remove you can also remove things by writing remove we don't have to use that previous tool well it's pretty cool I think the best one is this one I like it a lot um, yeah this is amazing <laughs> But maybe we don't want to remove it. What if we wanted to do something like, let's draw a castle there. Snowy, snowy European castle. Let's go. Oh, <laughs> I like this one a lot. Ah, this one is even better, I think. So let's try this one. <laughs> and, you know, we can merge it now to the main layer so we will be able to apply things above it later so ctrl e to merge it and now we have our castle cool and what about having group of people here observing the mountains and their area so let's let's make another selection like this and let's write group of hikers observing mountains oh yes this is very good <laughs> i'm i kind of don't want to see i think the first one is best obviously and we can merge it again so this is how easy it was uh, to do it you can always observe for mistakes because this is still not perfect but it makes mistakes 
and we can do other things you know to it uh, for example we can uh, draw UFO here they are just they are observing UFO and you have to come with another thing when you generate feelings it doesn't have to be that it feels their color fee there might you will probably have to always do some changes to it I like this one the most and it looks pretty cool and so we change this part this part and this part it's quite amazing uh, let's try to do other thing but I don't I'm I think we can draw some something here let's let's do this 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 and let's say house on the top of snowy mountain you should always use your uh, uh, mind <laughs> but actually 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 it's pretty cool again I like this cool so we have new house here and it fits there it's great another thing I would like to show you is when you want to change the theme or feeling of the image you can do it manually by applying these effects and also you have presets here under this button when you click on it when you click on it you will see in adjustments it will open automatically these presets you can see preview when you hover over them by your mouse and if you click on them you will apply them and when you click on more you see the more uh, presets so for example we can choose this one and you can see it has applied two effects brightness and contrast and color balance pretty cool and now let's do let's play with another image and now guys let's play with the last photo let's try to do something with this image well in the old-fashioned way we would probably select the subject here copy her in the new layer and then put something some background uh, below our layer with subject and we may try this to do in a new way using Adobe Firefly features in the Photoshop beta so let's try selecting subject first go into select inverse so we have now selected everything except our subject now we can generate the background for it so let's write for example sunny beach and this is the result and i think it's very cool because it was able to fill the area except our subject you know pretty well so what image is the best do you think S probably this one because it's less complicated and we can try try do other things with it but one limitation is that it will probably not be always very sharp it's a little bit blurry maybe it tries to recreate depth of field when you take photo with your camera uh, that main subject is in focus and the rest of it is blurry and it's quite beautiful or it's just a limitation of AI if you want to have really sharp images and just change the background I would recommend you doing this still the, with the old fashion but now now will come the real challenge we might try to do something else we didn't do it we haven't done it and that is let's try for it to recreate missing image will it be able to recreate missing image so for example let's merge this so we have this image ready and what if we would like to enlarge our artboard like that what if we want to have C here oh we could copy it but it wouldn't be perfect so we might try to do something like this and generate fill and say um, I don't know see <laughs> Let, let's let's see 
what it will do. Will it be able? If so, it will be really great. And I mean, wow. And this is the great power of this tool. While it might not be the best tool to, to generate high quality backgrounds behind your subject, but to recreate missing photo, it's something else. So I would recommend this tool for exactly things like that. And we even have all kinds of choices what we can do. And it's so amazing that you can do things like that. In old ways, it would be very difficult. You would play with clone tool, you would make photo manipulations, and you have just, you can now just write C, and then you see <laughs> the result. Pretty amazing. So, when it comes to my experience with this, and it's not um, like fullest experience, I didn't try everything, the best thing I now see is that it's so cool now when you want to remove something in your image and recreate parts of it. For this, this is really amazing. And also when you want to enlarge your images, it's the same thing basically. If we were able to recreate this part of the sea and uh, with such stunning result that it doesn't look fake or something. Um, what, when it comes to generating content, uh, probably it's better to use high quality photo on your background for such cases we did now. But I think still this is very good result. And we have seen here that we can generate all kinds of things with great result, like a castle here. I don't see some mistakes here uh, for, for now or people here, you know. So this technology is, has, I think, brilliant potential. And one other thing, how should, how should we think about this? Because this can have great reaction and also sad reactions. For example, I like to do photo manipulation sometimes. Hmm, doesn't it steal some creativity from us? Well, I don't think so. I think it makes think some things that are unnecessarily difficult more easy. For example, removing background, removing some parts of the image is very cool now. It's very cool. And recreating missing parts is super easy. So it gives you freedom to express your creativity even more. Uh, especially when you don't have um, devel uh, skill de developed enough to recreate it manually. But I would suggest that combine this with your manual skills and you will be much more powerful. So that's it for this guys. That's it for this video. I hope you have enjoyed this. And if you are new to this channel, I would recommend you for subs to subscribe on this channel. We do Adobe Illustrator tutorials, Adobe Photoshop tutorials, all kinds of things related to graphic design and digital art. So until next time, stay creative and have a great day.